Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play! Classic Mario World The Great Alliance, the Super Mario World ROM Hack. This is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Yes, I'm completely aware that it says Classic Mario World 2, but apparently the original Classic Mario World 1 was cancelled, according to the hack creator on SuperMarioWorldCentral.net. So, this is technically now just Classic Mario World, and there has been, like, an update on it, so to speak, which I'm right now playing at this moment. Keep in mind, I never played any of it until now! No, I was not drinking beer, by the way, I was just drinking some pomegranate orange sparkling soda. Grr! That silly plumber, he is so annoying! I just jumped during that, by the way. I'm still able to move. Apparently you can pause this. Um, is something supposed to happen? Oh. Kamek, what will we do? Mario, I'm pris imprisoned the power of crystals inside fragments. I need to get them back. I'm guessing I'm just... Oh, hit up. Don't worry, Master. I know who exactly who we call to help us. There was no apostrophe and don't, by the way. Excellent! After his last defeat, Bowser allied with Kamek, Wart, and Big Boo to defeat Mario. Now Mario must defeat this great alliance. Alright, so I guess there is more deadly alliances than just Shang Tsung and Quan Chi, apparently. Why go with Wart from Super Mario Bros. 2? That was a very obscure villain, if you ask me. So bad you don't see enough of him. Let's go to Classic Green Hills. Okay, it's got like some Mario 3D Land music. Welcome to Mushroom Valley! On this first level, you will find some weak enemies for you tests your skills. That sentence sounds wrong. It's for you to test your skills. So finding, like, grammatical errors like this on pretty much the very first episode is gonna be a harbinger of things to come. Maybe the hack developer does not speak English as a first language. That could be possible, I mean... We cannot dismiss that completely. But that's not gonna stop me from pointing it out. I will gladly do that, because sometimes when it comes to grammar, I'm a bit of a jerk. A self-admitted one, of course. Okay, those footballs actually were going slower. Did you notice that? So we got some Final Fantasy IV music, by the way. And some of those charging chugs... Oh, well, I missed out on that one up, but that's okay. It's not like you really need them that badly. Also, I'm gonna backtrack just to get some power-ups. Which, by the way, I know there was one back here. I think it was in this block. There. They were weak enemies, but we ran into some tough ones earlier in that area. So, I'm getting a bit worried. Oh well, I'll just take it as it comes. Oh, I can get up there. Thank you. Yeah, that was pretty easy to get. Okay, so far so good. Oh, okay, there we go. You know how the dragon coins work, no? Find all the five and win a life. But sometimes a level hides more than five. Find all the five? That... Now we're just running into some major uh, English errors. But some of them can actually have more than five. Does that mean I'll just get an extra life for each one? After five, I mean? I should. I could be wrong, though. But I've seen some cases where if you get more than five, you will definitely get an extra life after each one. That being said, however, we just gotta test that theory once it happens. Alright, so we got four, and I got an extra life because uh, that was my 100th coin. Okay, what was the point of that then? 
Did I really just do that for regular coins? Seems like a bit of an empty reward. But, oh well. Oh, there was an invisible block there. Oh, jeez, there was another one. I could have made that jump. Look. I did not need that other block. I was just there for no reason. Wait a minute. Was there some, supposed to be something up there? I'm pretty sure there was supposed to be, like, maybe one of those dragon coins up there. But it's not there. It doesn't exist. What the hell? Yeah, there was supposed to be a Yoshi coin or dragon coin there. They wouldn't have you go up that for no reason. Or would they? It might have been all a trick. Oh, well, there's the other one. All right. Maybe up there, there was like a hidden block that gives you an extra life. Who knows? Yay, I got 40. Okay, we got a flower to go with that. All right. Huh, that was from Super Mario Bros. 2, right away, by the way. Flood Tunnel. So I'm guessing I'm gonna have the option to save after every level? All right. So this one has two exits. Let's be on the lookout for them. Well, at least they give you plenty of time. But I probably won't be needing that much. Oh, that's the part where the water comes in. So I guess I'll have to check all these for pipes I can go up. Oh, that's weird. The water doesn't come out this way. I guess it only appears in certain points. Oh, I thought there'd be something hidden over there because I saw those coins placed for no reason. Oh, that's weird. But I'll take it. Okay, there's a blue coin over there. I don't know what it's for. Maybe it just counts as five like it would in Super Mario 64. Nope, it's just one. Wait, there was more coins. Okay, that was weird. Oh, what? Oh, there was a key right there. Interesting. Let's take it with us. Because I have a feeling it's going to be important. I don't know if I'll be needing the trampoline, though. So, we'll just leave it over there for now. Oh, oh okay, I, I see what I need to do. Can I make that kind of jump? Yes, I can, because a block is going to allow me to. It's like Mario was just presenting the coin to us, or the key. Water Top's way. Okay, that just leads to the first castle. Nah, yeah, I'll take that path later. So, let's go try to get the normal exit. That would have been so weird if a key path actually was the normal exit, and if you kept going, you would have got the secret one. I don't know if that happens very much. But apparently, we'll just have to keep an eye out for it, in case it does. I never would have guessed that the key was actually right there. But it was. So, let's take the trampoline with us. Because it'd be no good to put it on these platforms, it would just sink through. People wonder, why is it usually Super Mario World hacks that I usually do? The answer is because, well, there's a lot of them, and they're usually quite accessible to me. Mega Man hacks are pretty good, but most of them are just, like, high difficulty level hacks. These feel, well, they feel comforting. And there's always so much you can do with them. And I found that some Super Mario Bros. 1 hacks are, well, very inaccessible and often glitchy. So we'll just leave it at that. Oh, good, I could, well, use more points. Oh, why would they put a Yoshi coin right there? That's a bit of a dick place to put it. Sure. 
I'll get another flower out of this. Alright, so far so good. I forgot to get the tape, by the way. I usually do that in hacks. Like, I do it once and I'll probably never do it again. Because nine times out of ten, you're going to get so much lives anyway. Yoshi Bullet Hill. Well, hopefully I get a Yoshi out of this. Only one way to find out. Can I get that? I don't know. Yes, I can. No? Yes, I can. Yes. Oh, these blocks disappear when you land on them. These green turn blocks will disappear. What disappear? Spelled wrong, by the way. If you jump out them. Jump out them? Be careful with your next moves while walking on them. Ugh. <sighs> I would go over that hack with a comb. Okay, it's when you jump off them, of course. I thought it was just like walking off them would count too, but no, it doesn't. So you can just walk on them all you want, that's fine, but as soon as you jump off, they're gone. You wait over here, will ya? I don't really need all of them. There, land directly on the Yoshi. Hey! Well, you just waited till I got right in front for you to shoot. That's a bit of bullshit if you ask me. Now I lost my Yoshi. So I have to look for another one. It's like, Bongo, you can just like rewind your hack and then you just go back to the point where you, before you lost the Yoshi and you'll still have it. Well, that's true, but it feels like a cop out, especially at the first world. I mean, if this was a segment where, you know, I would need a Yoshi to find a secret exit, then maybe I would. However, at this point, probably not necessary. Besides, another one right here. Oh, just don't go off and lose that one, too. Oh god, Hammer Brothers. Okay, we're at 11 lives already. That's getting staggering. But it's nothing new. They probably had to do what like classic Mega Man games would do, just cap the lives at 10. In order for it to seem like a semblance of a challenge. Otherwise, you know, what's the point? Okay, I got shot by bullet bills way too many times here. Seems like I picked the worst times to get out in front of them. Oh, thought the exit was right there and you could have a chance where like high points of the tape. But I guess not. Oh, I can just do this again. Alright. Oh, I'm guessing the last Yoshi coin is right there. There it is. And... Yeah! 26. Okay, that's good enough. And there's a first fortress. Koopa Net Fort. What? Did I just kill my Yoshi? Like, I just spin jump on it and it dies. I thought I would just like, you know, jump off the Yoshi and just leave it at the front door, but no. I just flat out murdered it. Oh, it's a fake floor. Interesting. I wonder if there's gonna be many more like that. I'll just keep my eyes peeled just in case there's any fake floors again. But I guess there isn't. Alright, fair enough. Music seems like it skips a little bit, and I didn't get anything out of that. Alright, this doesn't look like a very hard fortress. Very basic one. Oops, I meant to jump on it for the, you know, 100 extra points. As if that means anything. Well, if you chain so many in a row, you get a lot of extra lives like that. And that's until you hit the ground, which I just did. Because there just wasn't enough of them. Yeah, I figured I'd go for it. 
Oh, it's one of those. Oh, it was just a simple, you gotta go fast. Hmm, what's the point of those blocks then? Looks like they're just there for no reason. Oops. Well, here you fight against Larry the weakest Koopa Kid, but he not easy in his castle. Find the secret exit of this fortress, and you can access the bonus room. In the bonus room, you can get power-ups to help you. You know what? I'll, I'll use a rewind just this once. Just for the sake of doing so. But it looks like I'm gonna need a P-switch. Oh, I might find one right here. Oh, oh, that might be it. Huh. Weird. Okay, so where would the key be at then? Maybe it's around here somewhere. Alright, let's look for it. So apparently there's no secret exit. What happens if you keep going? Wait a minute. What happens if I... I might have to use that P-switch again. Okay, let's try this. Maybe I gotta go fast. Like this, see? Oh, you know what? There's probably a key that's gonna be dropped right here. Yeah. Wow, you could, you barely get enough time for that. But apparently that's how you get that little secret. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, it is a secret exit. All right. It's a bonus room. Oh, I thought I was gone for some reason. Oh, you can get feathers here. Good. Good, 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 good. All right, here's another Yoshi for me to brutally murder. All right. And I guess I'll head back and get the exit, so give me several minutes. Alright, I made it back here, so let's see if there was any... Yeah, there was nothing else. Alright, let's fight Larry. Okay. Yeah, you can actually see his health bar. Well, that was a bit of a cheap hit. And I was dead. He wasn't much of a boss at all. There we go. Okay, so we can move on to the next stage. Fungi High Road. Uh, let me go back and get a Yoshi. And some other power-ups, too. Like a feather. And now let's get the Yoshi. Which hopefully I will not straight up murder in the next level. wonder what the rest of the overworld is like. Okay, looks like an airship level. A couple airship levels. So it looks like there's at least four worlds that I can visibly see. Unless there's like some underground ones and it might be like maybe five or six, give or take. Could be more. Oh, could have got a Yoshi here anyway. Alright, this music is quite catchy. 
Let's go. What's down here? Oh, that. Uh, is there anything up there? Yes. I'm gonna wait. Okay. That was a bad idea on my part. Alright, well, this is a very neat looking level. Some people might think it's generic, and you, you could be right. However, it's still nice. So, let's get a move on. Oh. Sometimes I keep forgetting where that music is from, but it sounds like it's from Kirby's Block Ball. It was actually a bit of a fun game, don't get me wrong. I just hated the uh, points requirements to, like, getting certain things unlocked. Like, you had to be not only really good, but you gotta, had to get a shit ton of points. And most of the times, it just means spamming the needle power-up. Maybe I'll let's play that someday, who knows. I've already did Pinball Land. That was a bit of a pain in the ass in its own right. I think I can get that. Yes, I can. Jeez, only now I only got like three Yoshi coins. I think I could have gotten up there. Well, technically those guys are not dead. Oh, come on with that horse honky. That happens way more than it needs to. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, maybe I can't make it. Alright. Let's ignore that. It's probably just a Yoshi coin anyway. Yeah, wouldn't be able to get them all. It's not like the Pokemons. I can't catch them all. Huh. Alright. I guess this is the last level I'll do and then I'll call it an episode. So let's go to Water Top's way. Oh gee, I wonder where this music is from. Kirby's Dreamland Dope. But you only get to listen to it for a few seconds and it's gone again. Alright, let's go. Huh. It's a good fish. Alright, this music I keep thinking is from Banjo-Tooie. But I also thought it was from, like, New Super Mario Brothers for the DS. That may not be it. So it could be Banjo-Tooie. That's a good game, by the way. No, wait, I think it is New Super Mario Brothers for the DS, where that track is from. Oh, the piranha plants just come out of those bushes. Okay, I'll probably need a P-switch to get up there. there. Might be one right on this spot. There is! I'd have to be pretty small to get through there. So, I'll take the dumb hit. Then we'll finally hit up this way. I just get a lot of coins and maybe a dragon coin, but that's it. Oh! Okay, I just saw that at the last moment. It's like, oh, you're gonna get a Yoshi coin! Congratulations! Oh, I forgot to tell you, there was munchers over there. You're gonna take a dumb hit. Worst case scenario, you die. Well, that game certainly trolled me. Playing with my emotions. Oh, there's a fire flower. Yeah, I bet you I might need this. Hopefully not. Because these things don't last forever. In fact, they're not going to last through this. Okay, so I got three Yoshi coins, and I got the halfway point. So there's... Whoa! Did you see that? That, that blurb just spawned out of nowhere. Was it because there was, like, too many sprites on screen at that moment? I think it was. Holy crap. 
Good thing I spotted it. Okay, why is it telling me to go left now? It just came from that way. Okay. There we go. What's the point of all of these flipping around? Okay. Hopefully this way is not dangerous. There's only one way to find out. I don't know if you need this P-Switch. I'll probably be getting it for the Yoshi coin, so forget it. I'll just take it with me because it has a much more practical use that way. Yep. Boom. Okay, I should have enough for the bonus room. Oh, you can get power-ups here now. Oops. Alright, that was... three, four. Yep. That's good enough for me. Alrighty then, I guess I'll call it an episode, and the next part we're gonna go to Koopa Tropa Hill. Damn it. Goodbye everyone, thanks for watching.